everybody. Today's question is, how can I work on my gratitude? And gratitude is a big deal. It is at the cornerstone of a happy life. You know, whether you're, you're going from a very traditional religious concept of you know you're supposed to give thanks before the big meal, to give thanks before the big demonstration over and over again in the Bible before there's a miracle, there's an attitude of thanksgiving, of awareness, of gratitude. And on the other end of the spectrum, on the more self-helpy end of the spectrum, you're told to keep a gratitude journal, you know, to do those kind of things. And one way or the other, the concept is the same. If you are faithful with a little bit, you will be put in charge of a lot. Your gratitude, your ability to acknowledge, source, to give thanks, is in direct connection with your ability to experience bigger and bigger examples, demonstrations, miracles, whatever you want to call them, bigger experiences of life. If you can't be grateful, you can't be happy. But if you find out how to be grateful, you're going to be on your way to a functional, impactful, happy life. Gratitude is really, really key, but you know that. I think in this day and age, part of the problem is that it's easy to look around and see examples of people who are suffering who are hungry, who are suffering in all kinds of ways, who are separated from their families, who don't know what the next step is. And so it's a very natural question to go, well, is it even okay to be grateful when there are people who don't have what I have? Is it okay to be thankful? Is that somehow selfish, disrespectful, something like that? And and I get that. And I think that question comes from a very compassionate place. And here's the deal, guys. We want to work together to make a world that works for everybody, like we always say. It is part of your job, your deal, to try and help people. If there is something that you can do to make the world a better place for somebody else, you you are honor-bound to do it. Absolutely. Sign petitions. Give to the food bank. Go volunteer somewhere. Do the things that are in your heart to do. Understand that you're not the only one. It's not going to come from you. You're not the source of all the good and all the growth and all of the food in life. But do your part. That's important. But here's the deal. At the end of the day, remember, for one thing, you can't give something that you don't have, right? It is acceptable and appropriate and even responsible to find ways to recharge the batteries, to let yourself be filled up, to acknowledge your connection with source so that you have more to give. That's the point. Remember, you're not the source, but you're also not the destination. Being grateful is not the same thing as being selfish. Being grateful is you acknowledging your role in the never-ending flow of good in life. It comes from somewhere bigger. It takes a brief pit stop in your life and flows out from you into the world. If you can't be grateful, you're interrupting the flow. You owe it to yourself to accept your good so that you can share your good. That's how this works. Put another way, how's the world going to get to be a better place? I mean, really. Is the world going to be a better place if everybody just focuses on the suffering, if no one can acknowledge that there's potential for something better? Is that going to work? Because look, we're all in this together. It is on you to recognize that whatever good is in your life, whether it is an incredible winning lottery ticket, the cure to a disease, or a good parking space, That thing where you open the dishwasher and you don't have to unload it because there's still room to put a couple more dishes in. Oh, it's a miracle too. Can you be the kind of person who can be grateful for those things? Because if you are grateful for a little, you get put in charge of a lot. And being put in charge means you've got to do something about it. Because that's the deal. Here's where all this connects up. Are you ready? When you are grateful for something, the best way to show your gratitude is not writing a thank you note. When someone gives you something, the best way to show your gratitude is not to put it up on a shelf, you know, encased in carbonite and and frozen behind some kind of a display. That's not gratitude. If I give you a gift, the way that I know you're grateful is that I see you using the gift. That's how I know. When I give my kids toys when they were little and they play with the toys, I know they like the toys. It's not complicated. Well, God gives you life and love and truth and that great brain and that brilliant heart of yours. What are you going to do with them? 
Huh. You owe it to yourself. You owe it to your creator. You owe it to your brothers and sisters to use the gifts. Gratitude means using what you have. So how can I work on my gratitude? First of all, find little things to be thankful for. Acknowledge the fact that if you get that good parking space, if you sail through the green light, you don't have to stop. Whatever it is, give thanks. Take a minute and say thank you. Really mean it. Say thank you. Because gratitude is like a muscle. It's low weight, high reps, like I always say. Get good at gratitude. Find little things. Take moments to say thank you. Keep a gratitude journal if that helps you. That's part of it. But that's only part of it. Because part of it is saying thank you, but the big deal, the 99% of it, is not about what you say. It's what you do. Show your gratitude by using the gifts that you've been given. And, and I don't know where you are in this life. I'm sure there are things you're working on because there's things that we're all working on. I want to work on them with you, but understand that there are some things in your life that you've mastered. There are some things in your life that you are really good at, that you've got on lock, you know? Those are the places where you can use your gratitude to make the world a better place. There's something that you can share. There's something that you can contribute, and that's how you work on your gratitude. Be faithful with what you've been given by giving it to somebody else. Thank you for giving me these amazing questions. Thank you for being a part of this sharing journey. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing and sharing these videos. I want to remind you that my new book, Meaning Fulfilled, is available on Amazon, and you can find out all about that and all about all of the things I do by going to my website, waypastok.com. You got it.